A major victory for a mother and father desperate for answers about their son. A high school athlete who was found dead under mysterious circumstances. For 10 months, those parents have searched for answers. And tonight, two major developments. Federal prosecutors now saying they will investigate. And now, new surveillance tapes from inside the school revealing their son's final moments. Here tonight, ABC's Steve Osinsami. This is the surveillance video the U.S. attorney here has now asked the FBI to study tonight from that cold afternoon. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson in the white shirt walks into a busy high school gym in Georgia and never walks back out. It's just one step closer to finding out what happened to my son. What happens next wasn't caught on camera. The sheriff, the school system, and a state pathologist all say that Johnson most likely dropped a shoe into a rolled-up gym mat and then suffocated trying to get it out. Johnson's family refuses to believe this, and they've now convinced their U.S. attorney to help. At this time, however, I am of the opinion that a sufficient basis exists for my office to conduct a formal review of the facts and investigation surrounding the death of Kendrick Johnson. The parents hired their own medical examiner who said this was a killing, blunt force trauma to the neck. When they exhumed his body, many of his internal organs were missing. Authorities blamed the funeral home. It's a tragedy, but it's a real-life murder mystery. On Facebook, Johnson's father posted this picture of himself wondering how anyone could squeeze into a gym mat. Supporters from around the world writing, I smell a cover-up, and this case makes no sense. We talk with school officials and investigators who insist they have nothing to hide and are saddened by Johnson's death. A judge has ordered authorities to turn over their entire case file to the family, including the names of the minors seen in these videos and exactly what they told police. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.